Today I'm going to be showing you the werewolf. This uh the werewolf is definitely one of the coolest things in this game because it allows you to turn into a werewolf and then run around like a freaking lunatic trying to kill everything that you can while uh, eating their corpses to stay as a werewolf. This thing makes you feel like a werewolf. That's that's why I really enjoy this class, uh, at least um, not the class, but the the actual ability, because it's just it's just so awesome being a werewolf, man. I mean, come on. But uh, today I'm gonna be showing you the best way to level it, at least the the fastest way that I was able to level it. And uh, this I'm gonna show you the zone that I'm in. I'm in Stormhaven. So uh, in Stormhaven, my favorite little grind spot is right here. Uh, I usually go to uh, this uh, town here, Wayrest. And then I'll, I'll farm all these little crab monsters in this whole area here. And uh, I'm just going to run through it and show you what it's like. Um, in the beginning of leveling up a werewolf, it's extremely hard because you got to build that ultimate to 300. And then it, it takes, it probably it goes away in like freaking 30 seconds. And then, then you got to build up your ultimate again. And uh, that's pretty much uh, lasts until you get Devour. Once you get Devour... You're able to eat corpses, and uh, that gives you an extra 12 seconds every time you do that. So your goal here is to kill as many things as possible. Keep eating and uh, keep it moving. That way you can uh, level this up and, and uh, get it to max level here. And it gets easier as you level because you start getting even more bonuses to uh, recovery for that, uh, that time. Especially this one. This Blood Rage is really awesome because... Um, Every time you take damage, you're gaining three uh, three seconds added to that timer. So uh, you could fight a group of mobs, and it actually makes it pretty sustainable. Um, even though it only occurs once every three seconds, it still makes it really nice because uh, you can you can keep it going until you kill the mobs, and then you can eat and keep it moving. Uh, let me just show you what the abilities are like. At least uh, the abilities I chose, I feel like that are the best ones. Uh, I went with uh, Werewolf uh, Berserker because I like that uh, it increases the damage a lot. Like um, it also adds that that bleeding, which I think the bleeding happens on the other one too, if I'm not mistaken. So this is every time you do a light attack, and the light attacks are the best way to go because you're just gonna be just swiping things and uh, keep moving because it's just it does so much damage, especially if you're doing a stamina based build. You want to go full stamina if you're gonna do a uh, uh, werewolf because you're gonna get the most out of this um, so what I'm, I'm using this one here and then we have uh, brutal pounce brutal pounce is uh, your your uh, leap attack so you're gonna be jumping into the battle this one makes it so that it's AOE so it hits everything around the area in five meters so this one's nice I like this one um, I'm using uh, hurricanes range uh, rage I mean Hurricanes. I, I don't know how to pronounce things. You already know me. <laughs> but uh, this is your heal. Uh, you heal 6,800. And you also buff your weapon damage with this uh, this morph here. I like that. Increasing your damage is definitely something that uh, is really nice. And uh, I, that's what I was kind of worried about at first because I wasn't able to use my rally or anything. I'm only able to use these powers unless I tra untransform and go back to normal, which you don't want to do it takes forever to build your ultimate and uh, so the the main thing that made this what it is and made it so awesome was this uh, rousing roar because it increases your weapon damage by 20% for 21 seconds so it basically gives you the buff of rally right there in rousing raw roar and this ability is awesome because what you're gonna do is jump in you're gonna use this to terrify the mobs and while they're terrified they take extra damage so uh, this this is like over the top because all these passives you want to take everything and they all branch off to each other um like uh this one here increases uh, the, the heavy attacks restored for 100 percent. i feel like that doesn't even work really i don't know you'll see what i'm talking about when i start fighting mobs uh blood rage is awesome devour is awesome um blood moon okay so that uh that actually makes it so that you can uh, infect another player with with the disease so you can turn them into a werewolf uh, that's how i got my werewolf initially and um savaging uh savage raid uh, strength this increases your weapon damage by 18 percent. that's automatically on that's awesome 
And uh, Call of the Pack, that's if you have other werewolves around, it would have increased the duration of your transformed. Okay, so um, I'm kind of jumping around all over the place. I apologize, but I get a little too excited when I'm looking at my werewolf. But uh, let's finish up with this one. We got a, a Howl of Agony. This one right here is your main single target attack. This thing is, does so much damage. It's so ridiculous. And then if they're feared by Rousing Roar, it does 30% more damage. So it's it's out of this world, this power. So Because you can do your light attack in between doing this one, and it's just out of this world, the damage. And then uh, we have uh, Claws of Life. Uh, this is your cone attack. This is what you're going to be using most of the time because this is uh, also doubles as a heal. So you're uh, healing for 50% of the damage that is dealt. And the damage that is dealt is really high because you're getting 10,000 10, over 10 seconds. That's really good. And then you're additional, uh, you're doing a, um, a instant 3,600 damage just from swiping them. So it's uh, it's nice to just hit this, let everybody get hit by it. And then you do your rousing roar so that they're taking more damage as they're running away from you feared and uh it also heals you for a lot more too because of all that damage that's being pushed out so it's it's really awesome but uh yeah let's get to it let me just show you the the quick little route i was using to to level this as fast as possible so i i started right here so let me show you where i'm at on the map i am right up in this uh, top corner so I'm fighting all these mobs over here and then I'm working my way out here so it's, it's basically uh, just working around into a cor uh, circle and just killing all the mobs as many as possible just to stay in wolf form as long as possible alright so let's get transformed let's turn to the wolf yeah alright so here we go alright look at this ah uh, get out of here See that? That's uh, that's that single target attack that I was telling you about. That's the number four key. That thing does crazy damage. I didn't even buff myself yet. Let me go jump into this battle. Let me finish this guy's thing off and eat it. There we go. What you want to make sure you're looking at is on the the bottom left. And you see on the mana bar, your uh, your you see that meter that's going down slowly. That's the that's your hunger. So you got to keep that bar up. So that you can keep on moving. Oops, I didn't eat that one properly. I didn't let the animation finish completely. There we go. All right, move it to the next mob. Boom, look at that. Just, the, all you have to do is just light attacks. You jump in, light attacks, and press four. That's it. There's so much damage, it's ridiculous. I tried doing this with uh, my, my heavy, heavy armor that had far less stamina. And it was really terrible. Like, it wasn't the same like it was right now. Um, I definitely recommend you using medium armor and doing a full stamina build if you're going to be doing this. Because uh, you're going to get the most out of it. And uh, if you want to see the, the build I'm using right now, you can uh, check out the video. Uh, link in the description. And uh, I'll show you all the gear and the stats that I'm using right now with this character. But this is the, the fastest way I was leveling it uh, single, at least um, by myself. And then I, I took it to an AoE farming spot that helped power level it even faster. Let me show you that spot. This is the Obsidian Scar. This is the, the fastest way I was able to level up the werewolf. And it's mainly because of this room right here that has so many mobs that respawn really fast. And there's usually a lot of people that like to hang out in this public dungeon because uh, the XP is really good. And uh, there's a lot of gear drops that drop a lot. So I, I really like this spot. I was doing this for uh, for at least an hour and I was able to get the, the werewolf to 10 from level 4. So uh, pretty much the only thing that you want to do is get that devourer up. And uh, once you get this devourer power, the, the passive, you're able to eat the corpses and then you can keep running around. So... That's definitely, you need that first before you can hit a, a public dungeon. Which, uh, it, it doesn't matter what public dungeon you do, because uh, all the public dungeons are, are pretty similar. There's like big groups of mobs that you can go in and kill. But um, it's going to be more of a challenge. I'm just going to tell you that now, because uh, if you have friends that you can come out with and, and uh, you know help level up together, that would be best. But um, it's able to handle it for the most part. You just got to be really careful. 
you don't want to run into too much and get yourself killed. So uh, this is where the spot is right here, Obsidian Scar, and that's in Ravenspire. So it's pretty much right in the center of the map, right off this mountain here. But let me just uh, get inside here and show you what it's like. Alright, we almost got this ultimate up. Yep, there we go. Alright, we can turn wolf now. Watch this shit. Let's do it. So basically, you're just going to keep running around in a circle here. So I'm going to fear him. I hit him with the, the cone attacks. Keep that cone going. And then you just want to light attack them to death. The light attacks do so much damage. Look at that. Uh, let's keep it going. Buff myself with both my heal and the other thing. So the two, the number two key is that, uh, that fear attack. So, um... That also doubles as your, as your buff. So I like to open up with my heal here, and then I'll jump in, fear him. Oh, wait, I got stunned. Let me fear him again. There we go. They're all fear. They take an extra damage. And look at that. They're all dead. See, and I'm actually regenerating my, my stamina. I mean, uh, my wolf form, because I'm taking damage constantly. So it, it makes it a lot easier to just keep moving from mob to mob. Now that I'm almost 50%, I'll eat. Let it go up. And there we go. Rinse and repeat. And just keep doing it. But uh, I like this spot a lot. Cause it's just so much mobs. You see, they, they respawn so fast. So it makes it really worth it to do this spot here. But yeah. That's pretty much the werewolf here. Super easy mode type shit. You just gotta really be really careful since you are using medium armor and uh, you are really weak. Uh, my build only has uh, 14k hit points, so it's basically it's squishy as hell. So you have to be really, really careful and strategic about your moves. But uh, yeah, that's the werewolf. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. And I'll see you in the next one. Later, guys.